Hello everyone, it's Timmy Sucker and his Red Hulk mask. And I'm gonna have a bunch of videos like this, um, I'm sure, of me showing off my comic collections for all you collectors out there and stuff. Um, let me just show you my comic box for it. That Silver Surfer calendar out of the way. And that's my box. I have two of those so far. And today's collection is just gonna be showing off all my Spidey comics from that box, which you can see are a lot. So I'll just um, put on a tripod here, and um, I'm just gonna like show you the cover and the issue number, because this is probably gonna be a long video as it is. So only if they're like my favorites or something, or if it's part of a saga and an important issue, I'll give more detail on it. So let's begin. Okay, so first issue. This is a reprint of the Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, wish it was the original, but they go for, like, thousands of dollars on eBay. Um, but, you know, this is fine, as long as I get to read it. This is, uh, a reprint, the Marvel Milestone Edition of The Amazing Spider-Man number one. You know, it's Mighty's first appearance, but, uh, yeah. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 413. Came out in July 4th. Or not July, just, just says July 96. Um, as you can see, it's Ben Riley from back then. Uh, it just says Toy Wars. I actually read this issue and enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's Mark Bagley's artwork, and I'm not a huge fan of him. Alright, so. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man 46. I'm pretty sure this is Volume 2. Um, I don't think I've read this one yet. So, stand on the wall there. Um, then we have... Web of Spider-Man, number 104, um, came out September, don't know what year, it says, plus, from the pages of Maximum Carnage, Nightwatch, I guess that's supposed to be Nightwatch, I'm not sure, alright, then there's Amazing Spidey 517, so, uh, apparently this was, a. Uh, I actually read this one, I just don't remember since it's been so long, this is Skin Deep. Um, apparently that's a storyline. God, I'm just losing it today. I forgot all these storylines. Part 3 of 4. Um, this one I got from Free Comic Book Day a while back. Spider-Man. It's just a, it's just Spider-Man Free Comic Book Day from 2007. Um, so I, I don't think that ties in with any other comics. I just think it was a comic they made for that. Marvel Adventures Spider-Man number eight. Now, what Marvel Adventures is is um, it's an it's an all ages group, so they don't have storylines that continue issue by issue. It's like one story, one issue. That's the kind of deal. I used to read these. I used to read these ugh, when I was a uh, smaller. I, I still read them sometimes. They're they're pretty good. They're well written and they've got really good artists. That's just my opinion. Um, Amazing Spidey 394. This one has two covers to it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is um, when Ben Riley was still new, but I don't remember. This is part two of Birth of Spider-Man. Right, this one is Power and Responsibility part two. This one is Birth of Spider-Man part two. All right. <clears throat> Amazing Spider-Man 386, there's Spidey, there's Vulture, here's the cover, this light might be getting in the way, but as you can see without it, it's uh, okay I guess, it says all starts with the Vulture's Ultimate Revenge, I read this a while back and I enjoyed it a lot, but you know, I love Spidey comics, so other people might not think the same thing. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 373, Invasion of the Spider Slayers. Now on sale twice a month. Cool. Um, they used to they used to do a lot of Venom mini stories during the 90s. Like they'd have the actual issue and stuff, and then it end with a Venom mini story after the comic. I'm trying to find. Yeah, like, there he is right there. Alright, 
So, next up, Amazing Spider-Man 369. Apparently he fights Electro. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 368. Um, this is still when, this is right before the Clone Saga, whenever his parents came back and the Spider Slayer series was still going on. Alright, Amazing Spider-Man 367. This was an enjoyable issue because there were evil versions of Hawkeye, Captain America, and Spidey himself. I actually enjoyed this suit a lot. His name's Blood Spider because he looks like the symbiote Spidey. Um, and he's with Solo. I picked up a couple of his issues. Alright, Amazing Spidey 359, he fights Cardiac. Cardiac, I don't think he's that much of a well-known villain. Um, by the way, I think we're in a, I think I'm going to have to do this in two parts. Because as you can see, I don't think I can fit all these in one part. And you're wearing at least two. That's all I'm going to say. So. Okay. This is another reprint. Marvel Comics group. Amazing Spidey 122. This is the death of Gwen Stacy. This came with the Green Goblin toy from the Marvel Legends. They released um, a while back. Amazing Spidey New Ways to Die. Um, this is the variant cover, right? Yes. Second printing. I used to have another variant cover, I'm pretty sure, but I gave that to my friend. This is book four, Anti-Venom. See right there. Draining Spidey's radiation, as you see in uh, Edge of Time. Okay, so. Amazing Spidey 521. I think Wolverine appears in this. Because I think they're in, this is when he lived in the Avengers Mansion. Alright. Spider-Man Family. Now, um, Spider-Man Family number three. Spider-Man Family, they released a while back. What it would have would like a, was like a cover. And then like at least 104 pages. And then have lots of mini stories and issues of Spider-Man. Like issues from different comics and mini stories with new artists. It's really great. You know, it, it takes up most of your time. Well, it takes up lots of time and is entertaining with all the different stories, um, which is good. Another Spider-Man family, but this is when they were doing the back and black issues. I really love that color or cover. I, I just love the way Venom looks and Spidey walking. Um, yeah, this. Excuse me. This um, was there was a new story about Spidey and Venom, and Venom apparently killed someone. And this is the cover for that story, representing the issue. Marvel Adventures Spider-Man 18. It's Man-Thing, right? I always get Swamp Thing and Man-Thing confused. I I'm pretty sure this is Man-Thing, but if I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, Man-Thing guest appears. Okay, this is called The Human Fly. I don't know much about it. I read it once. The only reason I'm showing you is because Spider-Man guest stars in it. Um, Marvel Age. Marvel Age is like Marvel Adventures. All Ages 11 and Spidey fights the classic Doc Ock. Spectacular Spider-Man 9. I think I have all the parts. I might be missing a couple. But this is called the Countdown. Part 4. I think at the end he reveals Spidey's identity or something. There's Doc Ock. Again. Alright. Spectacular Spider-Man 241. This came out December of 96. Spidey swinging with Mary Jane. Okay. Spider-Man 57. This is when Spider-Man had his own series and it was just called Spider-Man. It's an actual. It's, a, it's actually a cool cover because um, the jail cell you can open up. You see what I mean? This was when Scarlet Spider was still new, and I, I love Scarlet Spider. I don't know why people, so many people had a problem with the Clone Saga, but I, I loved it. I love Scarlet Spider as a character. I love Kane, the evil clone who kills people. So that's 57. Spidey goes to jail for a crime he didn't commit. It's a pretty good issue. I went back a while. Or a while back, I should say. Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man 110. Symbiote Spidey. 
I love Shimmy Up Spike too. This is... Can't, I don't remember if this is his alien costume or his cloth costume. But I love 80 Symbiote Spidey because he looks classic. Fighting Daredevil. This was a two parter. Two or three parter, I think. Peter Parker Spectacular Spidey 94. Cloak and Dagger. That's Silvermane. And <clears throat> here's Symbiote Spidey. Okay. Let's see. Who do we have next? Oh, yes. Amazing Spider-Man uh, 414. Again, this is when Scarlet Spider. Well, he he was under the name of. Lots of people know the suit is Spider Ben or just Ben Riley, because after Peter moved to the West or whatever, Ben Riley took over with that new costume. So, next up, Amazing Spider-Man number 40. This is when they start writing it. PG. Don Amita Jr. drew it. I love that cover. Anyway, um, uh, this is the second volume. He, I, he, they introduce a new villain, or just one I've never heard of that wasn't as popular. All right, to finish off this parter, part one of this video, we will have ended off with Spider-Man Family number one of the. Black and black thing. So let's see some stories they've got. They've got a really good one of Spider-Man just having a dream of him fighting Sandman. I love the artwork in this story. I always have. I love the coloring. I love his eyes like that. They also have a cameo of Black Hat. Pretty cool. Um, and we'll pick up next time. And it even shows you, like, history back about the black suit. God, I can't talk today. By the way, Beerus, get me that uh, Vanya store for Christmas. Thanks. Alright, so we'll pick up next time with a Marvel Tales, and I'll explain what that is, with Puma and Simeon Spidey. So, until next time, viewers, bye-bye.